Hello. Hey, Ryan. Hope you're well. To be honest, this week felt a bit like a lost deer in the woods, like a, a lost child in a shopping centre, not knowing what to do with myself. Louis off all week, left me to my own devices. I don't know what to do. I've watched far too much porn. I've found categories out that I never knew existed. And I've realised I've got one or two faces that should probably never be mentioned on YouTube. But other than that, I've done a bit of streaming. I was going to do some car park comms, but I thought, what's the point? Without Louis, what's the point? What is the point? So what I thought I'd do is I, I, I'd take it back to the old school and I'm not talking, I'm not talking like fat dad to fast dad. I'm talking only a couple of months ago when I decided to start taking on some comms. Remember that comm I took? This would have been March last year, this year, la, this year, whenever it was, I don't know. But anyway, I took this comm over here. It's a local one. It's Batley to Rowthorn. It's a four minute, four and a half minute effort. It's a decent climb. And I thought, I'll take com on that. And I bloody took the com on it. In emphatic style. There was even, so I heard, rumours went around that the local cycling club was not happy with me. They were not happy that I managed to take that off one of their riders. Meh, silly me. What are you going to do about it? But I'll be honest, I thought that was it. I've got the con, that's it, job done. I can sit back, and if I never achieve anything in life, beyond this point, I've taken that con, right? Until some absolute cretin, it's the only word to describe him, is an absolute cretin. He's like Adolf Hitler to my Churchill, Lionel Messi to my Ronaldo, Pablo Escobar to my DEA. Just an absolute abhorrent man who deserves no airtime. <laughs> I'm kidding. David Raynham, you absolute dick. <laughs> Stealing my calm. How dare you? And do you know what? He went out there specifically to take that. He might have been on a loop. He might have been on a ride, but he knew what he was doing when he did that. He knew it. And he even baited me out over on Instagram. And I've got to admit, I've met him. And he's a lovely bloke. Slightly annoyed. I was hoping he was going to be a dick. But he ain't. He's a bloody lovely bloke. But competition's competition. And I'd kill me own granny if it meant beating somebody. So I buried her under path. No, nah, she's been there for years. Don't worry about it. So what I thought I'd do instead was try and take this comm back. It's my comm. This, these are my roads. I am the king of that hill. He's nothing more than than a, a, a thief. He's like Robin Hood, trying to steal from the rich. That doesn't work, does it? Anyway, he, he stole it and I want it back. I want it back. So yesterday I went up there and I took the climb on. But did I do it? Who knows? We're gonna find out in a minute. If you think I did do it, leave your comments down below and let me know. In fact, whether you thought I did or not, leave your comments down below and let me know. Did I get my com back? Shall we find out? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 360 version of a, uh, a com, which is going to be quite interesting. First time I've edited a video with the 360, so forgive the poor editing. But anyway, here we go. This is the start of it. Already I'm probably not going as fast as I should, but I'm really terrified of, as you go down here, as you'll see as the camera spins around, th it's a it's a bizarre junction to go into it. So it's downhill down here, and then you've got a, a car that's going to cut across to see that white car there. There's a junction there to the left. The main road sweeps around to the right, but I go left up here. So it's a bit awkward, and a lot of cars just go straight through that junction. So I went in with a little bit of caution, relatively flat here. I've only put the power on as to not get in the way of all the... The, the amazing 360 imagery that you're about to see. Rough surface, it's um, 
yeah it's not the greatest of surfaces but as you can see i look all right I, I'm, I'm just sorting me out me old wahoo to make sure i've got the right stats on that i need and i'm looking for the wattage all i need to see is the watts i want to know that i'm around 500 watts if i can try and stick around 500 watts instead of peaking up around 800 like i did last time i think it should put me in good stead now here right now no wind it's absolutely fine but on the way over to it on the warm-up i noticed that it was bloody windy but this is pretty sheltered um i think it's coming across as as you look at it from right to left on the screen i think or it's kind of coming across from the front edge of my right shoulder across to the left so it's, it's a bit cross crossy headwind right now um but again i, I feel all right i'm not I'm not going full gas there. I'm not absolutely on the limit, but I can feel it starting to tickle. Right here, I was dead the last time I took that comb. I was dead here. But again, we've got some sheltered area here going up through here, but then it's going to get to a um, a little left-hand kink, and that is where the trouble starts on this comb. That is when I know I'm in trouble. Still averaging 480 to 500 watts, something like that. Um, so I'm pushing on. There's no doubt about that. It's not like I'm not trying, but I'm reserved. All right? I'm going for a different approach. I'm not going for the 10-second flat-out sprint. This is sustained effort, sustained ability. But right here, right now, I'm up onto the top, and it's exposed. And right now, all I can get is, is headwind. That's all I'm feeling. It's coming directly at me. As you can see from this footage here, you can see exactly which way the wind was blowing when I was on this section here plus it's exposed so I just I can't hide from it I cannot hide from it and it's a long old drag this up until this um, this left hand bend so you can see how long I've been exposed and I'm pressing I'm trying I'm pushing I'm getting nowhere fast but you know a man with the, the size of the ego that I've got so what I'll push against this wind I'll press it I'll break this wind and I'll take that comp, and it'll be even more sweeter. The power's starting to dip just a little bit, but then we pick it up. Um, and around here, last time I took the comp, I was much more um, reserved going around this left-hander because it's a blind corner. You can't see if there's any cars, but I just took a chance. I just said, this, I'm going to try. And then around this right-hander here, I did just come off the pedals and the power a little bit. But again, I, I, I really committed to this right-hander to make sure I didn't lose any speed going around it. Because normally I'd freewheel around here, take a really wide line, but I thought, you know what? The only way you take comms is by taking risks. Risk big, win big. Could have been dead, but I wasn't, so everything's fine. So we're still pressing on now. It goes up and left around here again. Tiny little bit of shelter, but once again, we're starting to feel that headwind up here. I know it's coming, but you can see we're just in a little bit of a, a protective area here really rough surface around there and then we're exposed again and this is it this is where the headwind is um for some reason i lose a bit of power there uh, i'm really on on death's door now i'm really feeling it back out the saddle we're going to go around this left hander a little bit of left hander and then once again we're up we're right on the top now and we're fully exposed that wind Again, you can see from that footage there that the wind is just coming straight at me. I'm up at around 600 watts though, so I still have power in my legs, even though I'm 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 absolutely on the rivet. I'm um, I, th I think I've got enough power to take that com. I just need better conditions. I need to come into it a little bit better. I need to come into it a little bit faster. I need to stop messing about with me, uh, Wahoo, and I mean. Ideally, I shouldn't have a camera, and I should really go full, full um, lightweight bike. But there we go. We're uh, we're at the end. And unfortunately, not only did I not take it, I was ten seconds slower than my best time. So that's thirteen seconds down on David's com attempt. Uh, it's in there, d d absolutely in there. But probably the wrong day definitely not fit enough yet definitely not strong enough to fully commit to uh, taking that com on i wasn't happy forge <sighs> a 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a prime example of why you should always check which way the wind is blowing before you decide to take on a comp. It was a schoolboy error, and I'll be honest, I thought I had enough in my tank to be able to push through that, but it was far too windy. It was ridiculous. So, he holds on to it for another day. But let this be said, that Com is coming home. It's coming back to its rightful owner. There's no two ways about it. So back into training. Back into a daily routine of trying to be the best David Raynham. Enjoy your reign at the top. Because it ain't going to last forever. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get you. Alright? Also, if you look at my power, I didn't hit the numbers that I needed to. I remember on the first effort, I went out really hard at the bottom and died at the top. And I'd analysed is I knew roughly around the power average I needed to be. So I thought if I stick around there between 450 and 500, I should be there or thereabouts. And maybe I'll save enough for the end where I can really hit it out. But it didn't transpire that way. With that headwind, it meant I had to push out a lot more watts than I wanted to. And I didn't get much back for me money. Anyway, yeah, whatever. I lost it. And again, it was one of those videos that I could have not put out and just been like, didn't do anything today. But I'm all right with my defeats. I'm all right with my losses. I can handle them. That's a true sign of a, of a, of a, of a good man. A man that can face victory and defeat. Wait, is that not like a... Is that, in, is that not in the poem If by Rudyard Kipling? I think it is. Basically, if you can treat winning the same as losing, you're a good bloody person. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you've not done already, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification bell so you know when we go live our videos. Streams are coming thick and fast at the minute, even though the, the sun is still shining. We've still got plenty of summertime. Um, I'm getting back on that stream hype uh, relatively early this year, and I think I'm going to continue it all the way through. Up until Christmas and into the new year now. So, um, yeah, if you want to stay abreast of when we go live with our videos, make sure you hit that notification bell. If you enjoy the videos, you hit that like button. If you enjoy the content, you hit that subscribe button. Give me more views, maybe more paper. Then I get to do better things instead of just sitting in front of the camera. Thanks for watching.